Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Today we continue our discussion about the medium transmission line. So today we will discuss the example of the transmission line related to the medium model. So we have uh, this example. So we try to uh, solve this question. So this one we will do tomorrow or during the class for the activities okay so we have three four five kilowatts 60 hertz so the system is 60 hertz three phase transmission line the length is 130 kilometer long and then the resistance this is the r per kilometer and then you have your l 0 0.8 milli milliampere per kilometer and then we have also the capacitance since we consider the transmission line with the uh, medium transmission line so this one is your y over 2 okay so this one is your z so the question is to find the vs and then the power ss so to find the power ss we need also to find the is the current course in the end and we need to find the voltage regulation as well as the efficiency so this is the question for this example Okay, so if we we extract we extract the formation there. So first we find we our system is three three four five kilowatts. So this one is line voltage for the receiving end sixty hertz. Your length is one hundred thirty kilometer medium line, medium line model. Then we have R 0 0.036 ohms per kilometer. So we have L 0 0.8 milli Henry per kilometer. And then you have C 0 0.0112 microfarad per kilometer. From this information, we can find our Z. Your Z is R plus J omega uh, L times with the length. 0 0.036 plus J2 by 60 you add 0 0.8 milli Henry per kilometer times 130 kilometer so from your calculator you can obtain this values 4.68 plus J39.2071 ohms next we can find your Y Y equals to G plus J omega C times length normally your g is 0 so j 2 pi 60 your c 0 point 0 point 0 1 2 2 1 1 2 uh, microfarad times 130 okay so you get your j 548.8991 times 10 the power of minus 6 semen okay from here you can solve the question okay so firstly we can find uh, the question is your apparent power for the receiving end is 3 to 5 MVA at 0 0.8 power factor lagging Okay. and then your receiving end voltage 3 to 5 kilowatts so from here we can find your ABC, ABCD parameter so our ABCD so remember our A equals to 1 plus Z Y over 2 ok you can include all the value that you obtained previously so you can get your A 0 0.9892 plus J 0 0.00128 ok and then A is equal to D right so from the equation that we have derived previous video and then your B is equal Z so this is no problem and then your C equals to Y 1 plus Z Y over 4 so um, put all the information all the values there you get your i you have the real uh, real value but it is nearly to zero so you can ignore 
so it's 5.4595 times minus of 4 so that is your uh, C okay and then we know already our VR so VI is given in terms of what line voltage so you need to find the phase voltage because all the calculation must be done in the phase voltage so 3 to 5 kV divided by square root 3 so you get 187.6388 kilovolts so and then your SR we know already 3 to 5 at 0 0.84 factor so we just inverse this uh, 0 0.8 so you get 36.87 degree and remember from the triangular so you know this is S this is P this is Q so this is the angle 36.87 so your S equals to is 36.87 MVA okay so from here you can find your P P equals to S cos theta so 3 to 3 to 5 cos 36.87 you get 260 megawatts then Q S sine theta from here right so P equals to S cos theta Q equals to S sine theta so you get your value of uh, Q is 195 MVAR Then you can find your calculation. Uh, you can find your uh, your IR. Basically, this is your IR. It's equal to your SR divided by V three VR. VR this one is face value, right? Conjugate because this is derived from the SR equals to three VI conjugate. Okay, so you read range, so I get the SR over 3VI, a 3V, is conjugate. So you get your value here is 3 to 5, negative 36, 187, why negative? Because it conjugate 3 times your phase voltage, 187.6388. This one can can be conjugated because it's zero, no problem. So you get your IR five seven seven five seven seven point thirty five. The angle is thirty six point eight seven. Okay, so from here we can your find your VS. VS equals to A V R plus B I R. We know already our V. You know already our I, so you can find your VS. So your VS is equals to 201.293 plus J16.644 kV or 2201.98. The angle is 4.73 degrees kV. So this is your VS. From here you can find your VS line to line in times square root 3 so you get 349.84 kV so this is your VS next you want to find your IS 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 equal to CVR plus DIR so we know already all the information here you can find your current so the current when you do calculation <coughs> get 516.3146 negative 37.65 m okay you can the answer from here you can find your ss your ss is 3 v s i s conjugate so 3 times 
angle is 4.73 times 516.3146 negative 3 this become positive right because we have got to get it at 27.65 so you get the value it's about 312.86 22.38 MVA. So this is your S. <coughs> so this one you need to find your P plus your uh, Q also because this is needed when you want to calculate your efficiency especially for the P. Okay from next we want to find the voltage regulation. So voltage regulation is Vs divided by A. Don't forget the A, A the parameter A and it only. Uh, minus VR over VR times 100 so you got this one using the 3 phase voltage 349 0.84 divided by A your A is 0 0.9892 minus 3 to 5 you are receiving M voltage divided by 3 to 5 times 100 so you get your value voltage regulation is about 8.81 <coughs> degree <coughs> next we want to find the efficiency your efficiency equals to PR your 43 phase divided by PS times PR times 100 so your PS your PR is 260 degree uh, kilovolts <coughs> Divide by your sending and voltage, uh, sending and power to six four, two six four point two one times hundred. So you get ninety eight point four one percent. So this is the efficiency of this system. Okay, I think that's all for this example. So, so the question B, we will try to do during the class. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you.